and welcome to another edition of Inspire. We are thrilled to have Jen Lemke from Canada with us today. Hello, Jen. Hey. And you come from, I think, outside of Toronto, is that right? So East yeah. Coast of Canada. And you joined us just a year ago and recently, con um, congratulations, you've promoted to Royal, congratulations. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. So um, this isn't your first rodeo, though. You've been in the industry for a while. And um, how were you introduced to Senegents? Uh, You know what? I had a friend and we had kind of known each other. We'd met in person a couple of times, but really met um, through Facebook. I joined her beauty group. I watched her for at least a year. Um, really didn't comment on anything and then decided I like I've wanted this to try this makeup forever so finally um, reached out to her tried the products used them for a good six months and then I said listen you got to tell me more about this business okay so first of all for those of you listening if you think there's people in your beauty group that are just not paying attention um they are right <laughs> you you know the fact that you're in there for one year you're not commenting but you're watching i think that is a uh, great point for people to you know maybe reach out personally and say hey i you know i know you're in our group do you have any questions i'd love to send you some samples so that's that's a little plug, I think, for, you know, reaching out personally to everybody that's in your beauty group, even if they're not commenting, because maybe you would have joined a little bit earlier, right? If maybe she would have reached out and sent some samples. So that's a great uh, lesson, I think, for for people that are thinking nobody's in their group and paying attention. Uh, and so, OK, so you try the makeup, love the makeup. And so you were in a different business, same business model, but different business for eight years. What is the Senegence difference? What do you love about uh, the business here? Oh my gosh, Senegence is just night and day. I mean, when I look, I'm a numbers girl too. So when I look at our compensation plan and I know what else is out there from being a part of something else and seeing other business opportunities, like Senegence compensation plan is next to none. The fact that we can earn a 50% commission on our sales is like astounding to me. It's been absolutely incredible. And then, I mean, just the products, anyone that's used them, everyone watching this video that's used them, we know what we have our hands on is something so special. And the fact that our customers can truly just fall in love with these products instantly and then continue to use them and try them over the months and years and continue to grow just a really strong customer base, I think for me has been a real game changer. And um, I think that's a, a really great point, you know, our products. And speaking of, uh, we're in the middle of um, our Team Wicked promotion. It's, uh, I think, Midnight Muse and, or Blackberry in other countries. And I think you're repping that right now. So um, so the promotions that we offer, um, how are you leveraging those in your business? Because I see you're wearing the product right now. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, for example, you know, this isn't a typical color that I might wear to the grocery store every day, but I did just get back to the grocery store and I did wear it. But, you know, I, of course, like every time Sun Engines has a promotion, I, I just like to share it in my customer group. I share it in my stories um, daily. And, you know, people want to see us using the products. You know, it is one thing to share the gorgeous graphics that Senegence makes for us. And those are fantastic. And I definitely utilize those, but I think it's a whole nother story, um, to get into your group, to apply that product, to use it, to show it. So, you know, people can really see that, that you're there and you're using it kind of along with them. So what would you say to somebody that's watching that is afraid to go live or isn't um, consistent in going live? How, you know, you've been doing this, you know, this business model now for nine years. What are some tips that you have for the newbie? Yeah, I would say like do it scared because I was scared when I first did it. There's no question about that. I can remember going live here in my living room for the first time, however many years ago I was terrified, but I also knew that it was going to be something I needed to do to grow my business. So I think at the end of the day, we have to just be willing to try new things. We have to be willing to not even fail forward. Like you're just starting something new. You're going to be making maybe a mistake or a hiccup. And I think we do that anyways, no matter how long we've been doing something. So I would say just like fall in love with the process of trying something new. 
right? Be proud of yourself that you're willing to do something. Maybe someone else isn't willing to do that, but you are, right? And be willing to pat yourself on the back for that, even if no one else is, because trying something new can be scary, but it is so worth it. And truly staying consistent like in those tasks, whatever that is for you, whether you're going live in your group every day, maybe you go live in your group once a week, but staying consistent on that is really going to help your business move along and grow so much faster. I like to like quickly use the analogy of like popping that bag of popcorn. If you put that that popcorn in the microwave and you turn the pop the, the microwave on and it starts popping, but you open the door to check on it like 50 times, then that popcorn is truly never going to get popped. You're not going to be able to enjoy like that big hot bag of popcorn in your bowl with your movie that night. Same goes with your business. If you start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, your business isn't going to get like that true momentum. And that's where you're going to have the most fun and see the most results. That is such a great example with the popcorn. I love that. I had not heard that before and it is so true. So you work this business full-time. It's your full-time gig. For somebody that joins your team or is watching right now and they have a full-time job, this is their side hustle. What do you put the most value on for them to do in their business to gain new customers? Yeah. And I think 99.9% .9 of the people who have joined me in this business do work full time. And so I get like that busy mom, that's that busy sports mom, and she's working and doing all the things. So there's a lot on your plate. And so when you're joining this business, I would say you're looking at staying consistent in your in your beauty group, right? So consistent, meaning like you're scheduling out your posts, um, there's something there every day. So maybe on a Sunday night or a Saturday afternoon or whatever that time is for you that you can sit down, plug in for an hour, schedule out your content and your group can then in essence, in, in essence be an autopilot in terms of the post going up. So that's number one. Um, and number two, I would say book those, those workshops, book a Facebook party, um, and, you know, aim to do, you know, one a week. I have girls that do this full time and, and, you know, if they can schedule that content to be running for them while they're at work and those posts are going up and, and they've got that workshop rolling, they've got new customers and they've got new business. Um, so I would say, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. And that's kind of like a nice, I think that's a nice goal to have. I think that's a great goal. And I think uh, the planning that you take, carving out the time to plan the week or plan the month, whatever that is, whether you're doing that at the, you know, it's it's mid-October right now, uh, the end of October while while you're watching this. So it's, you know, taking the time right now to, to lay out what November might look like for you, knowing that you have um, holidays coming up perhaps in the U.S. for Thanksgiving um, and what, what that might look like, obviously, with all the other fun things that, you know, we're, will be happening with the sales and cyber deals and all of that kind of stuff. So planning ahead, which is a great suggestion. A lot of times people don't do that and they just, uh, you know, on the fly or working the business. And we we know that consistency over time equals success. And it's all, you know, let's go back to the popcorn, right? Uh, you know, if you want that full bag of popcorn, you have to stay the course and, and, and it has to be steady. So great advice there. So looking forward, you've been here for one year now, what are some goals that you have looking for? What if, if you could look into the future, what does your business look like? My business is full of, you know, happy customers and women on my team who are reaching the goals that they want to reach. Um, you know, I think that there's just so much possibility here. So, you know, into kind of October, November, I would love to have five women on my team hit Maiden. I think that would be an incredible goal for them. It is a gift, like I said, through this compensation plan, not to just earn through the commission structure, but also through the team sales structure, which is as incredibly awesome. So that's kind of a short-term goal for me. Long-term, you know, I, I got to copy the right cats and uh, I got to, you know, my crown princess, Tracy Zimmer, she's doing all the things. And, you know, I would absolutely love to stand beside her with my crown princess uh, crown on as well. So that would be a long-term goal that I would absolutely love to, to achieve. 
Well, Jen, you are well on your way to that. I think those are fantastic tips and goals. Thank you so much for being here at Senegence and sharing your passion. And we are so excited to see what the future holds for you. I can't wait to see you up there in your crown one day. Congratulations on all of your success and thank you for being here. Thanks so much for having me.